Hi there, I'm Andy. Ruby's in the back of the pickup truck here. We're back in Snowdonia. It's Friday evening and we're going away for the weekend. We're going to a fairly secret place called Blinacum. It's normally only rented out to friends and family, maybe friends of friends. So I hope this video helps you see whether or not it's gonna be for you or not. What it really lacks in amenities, it certainly makes up in charm. There's an outside loo, no drainage or flushing WC. Even the water comes from a spring outside, but there is electricity. So carry on watching for the next few minutes and I'll show you line of cum. Well, I can't wait to get inside. It's always really exciting when you arrive here. You can see just down by the entrance door here, that's the spring where all the water comes from. So you'll be very careful not to get that muddy up or anything. Indoors, you've just got to get the electricity switched on. And one of the important things at Blind and Cool is that when you get here, you're responsible for cleaning it when you leave. And it's always a good idea to leave it even better than when you find it. So taking your shoes off is a pretty good idea. Another thing to remember is that there's a strict no dogs allowed policy here. That's because there's so many sheep and it's really important not to upset the local farmers here. We're really lucky to get permission for Rube to come and stay here. Now certainly staying here at Blindacum is a little bit alternative and it's not gonna be for everybody. For instance, we've turned up today, it's pretty chilly. If you don't like mud, you'll hate it. We've got unpacked, and the first thing we're gonna do is light the fire. And we've even bought our own kindling and firewood for that. Well, Ruby's got her priorities right here. She's got a bed right in front of the fire. And our priority is get that fire lit. Okay, make sure you follow the instructions about how to light the stove properly, then You'll avoid any accidents and you'll be warm even quicker still. Well, you wouldn't believe we've only been here for about an hour or so. It's half past six. The room's warm. It's time to choose a good book from the bookshelves. Gather around the fire and make ourselves comfortable. Thanks very much to Gaz for sending over the Cornish Knocker beer tonight. We're going to settle down now for a relaxing evening and tomorrow I promise you I'll get up early and I'll show you around the rest of the property. Well, I've got to say that going to bed here is not entirely dissimilar to spending the night in a lodge in the Himalayas in terms of temperature. But it's just as nice. What a great way to end the evening, see in the morning. Well, it's the morning. I've had a really snug sleep. We've used our three season sleeping bags here. Looked out the window and the weather's even looking good too. Well, it's first things first. I've been summoned down to get the fire going again. But in fact, the lounge is still warm from last night. So getting the fire going shouldn't be so bad. Yeah, it's definitely good news. There's some red embers still in here. Well, that's going all right, isn't it, Ruby? gonna be nice and warm today now let's go and do the other important things like doing our teeth and stuff so welcome to the bathroom it's a fairly basic affair there's an electric storage heater in here which takes the chill off a bit there's no tap as such i've got some nice hot water in the boiler here i've got a good jug full of cold water which got AC in the teeth it's lovely enjoying the view through the window here Oh, by the way, this is the indoor bucket loo that you can use if you get caught short in the night. But I'll be showing you the outdoor one later on. So next it's time for breakfast. And a lovely cup of coffee. How do you think a t-shirt The next most important thing here at Blind Coom is that when nature calls, nature really calls. But I can tell you, it's one of the best views from any toilet in the world. So now, if you're wondering where you think you're going to sleep when you come and stay at Blind Cum, upstairs, there's three bedrooms. There's two at the front and there's this big one at the back. 
There's a double at the front, a bunk room with four, four beds in, and then at the back here, four single beds as well. And if you want a little tip while you're staying here, choose this room at the back because you get all the heat from the wood burner below and this chimney gets nice and warm as well. Even when you wake up in the morning, it's the snuggest room in the house here. <laughs> so as well as the eight beds that we've got upstairs in the main house, there's also a barn next door, which has got some overflow accommodation. And I'll give you a quick look in that now. <laughs> but you weren't expecting me to pop up from there. So this is the upper story of the barn. There's a woodshed below, but this is a lovely studio room. This is the main exterior entrance to this upper barn. There's an amazing ping pong table here, which is really good fun. And then there's single beds for three people. Well, we've had a lovely weekend here. The weather's held out. We haven't got too wet. We've been on some nice walks. I've done lots of wood chopping and we spent a lot of time eating and drinking around the wood burner. It's always a bit sad to be leaving Blinacum because you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to come back and stay here. But thanks very much for watching the video. It's nice to have shared some of the charms of this cottage with you. I'm Andy. Ruby's down the bottom of the hill waiting to go home. Thanks very much for watching and bye bye for now.